we're gathered here today as the New Jersey for Transit Coalition. Uh, we're an 18-member coalition calling for the state to fix its transportation funding crisis. Um, and right now, we're, we're calling on the state to uh, provide funding for New Jersey Transit to avoid a fare hike that is imminent. We are here today because the governor has ignored efforts to move forward with fixing New Jersey's broken transportation funding structure. Broken in, broken in terms of capital and broken in terms of operating for New Jersey Transit. The governor has ignored efforts to restore solvency to the Transportation Trust Fund. The governor has ignored efforts to make sure that New Jersey has enough money to fix its deplorable road conditions and to fix its over 600 deficient bridges. The governor has, has ignored efforts to improve the state's economy by investing in transit and transportation. And the governor has refused to invest in transportation to improve safety of all users of the roadway. And why has he done this? Because he says he wants to say no to New Jerseyans paying more, to pay more for things that they want and need. But he has no problem saying yes for New Jerseyans to pay more for inadequate and outdated transit service. He has no problem saying yes for New Jerseyans to pay more for car repairs due to the deplorable conditions of our roads at an average of $600 a year. Administration after administration has kicked the can down the road, but the buck literally stops with the governor's, Governor Christie's administration. Come fiscal year 2017, there is no plan for transportation projects in New Jersey. There's no plan to pay for increased debt as a result of his five-year plan gone awry. There is no plan to thwart future fare hikes. The only plan this governor has is to make New Jerseyans pay more for less. Because this is high noon for New Jersey Transit's riders. There won't be a second chance to stop this fare hike and service cuts for, for riders. And quite frankly, Governor Christie has signed off on stiffing New Jersey Transit riders. And Senate President Sweeney and Speaker Prieto still have the chance to save New Jersey transit riders, although that time is quickly running out. If the budget stays as it is, uh, it will be a fait accompli for the fare hikes and the service cuts at the July 15th New Jersey Transit Board meeting. New Jersey transit riders pay the most out of any commuter uh, rail network in the country. And according to analysis by the Tri-State Transportation Campaign, New Jersey transit riders are paying up to 25% more, even accounting for inflation over the course of the last 30 years. The funding for New Jersey Transit in FY09 was more than $300 million. In this fiscal year, it's $33 million. In the last five years, state subsidies for New Jersey Transit have dropped from over $300 million to 34, uh, 33 to $34 million for this past year. During that same period, the agency's service has drastically declined threatening the job security and impairing the quality of life for hundreds of thousands of people from the state of New Jersey. New Jersey Transit's recent proposal for service reductions and a fare increase will cause undue financial harm to those in our state who are still struggling to recover from the side effects of the Great Recession, all while providing less service at a time when riders are demanding more. We expect that the representatives from both parties will step up and address this year's budget gap, as well as begin the steps necessary to create legislation to ensure a sustainable, consistent funding stream for transit and transportation in the coming years. The imminent fare hike on bus and train riders uh, will amount to a 30% increase on bus and train fares over the last five years. Uh, it will hurt the people who can least afford it. Uh, bus and train riders tend to be lower income. They're often senior citizens. They often have disabilities. They are the most vulnerable above, among us. And we are asking them to pay more for less. This is not an inevitability. It is a choice. It is the result of policy choices that have taken place over the last five years. We have seen, as others have mentioned, a 90% decrease in funding for New Jersey Transit over the last five years. So what we are asking for is for the legislature to, uh, to stand strong, to continue to press for new revenue, to continue to close corporate loopholes and make corporations pay their fair share. Uh, so that we can give so that we can avoid these ruinous transit hikes and start investing in a transit system that actually will create the jobs New Jersey needs. 
I just wanted to start out and say that the same people who stuck all our trains in the middle of the Meadowlands with a superstorm coming and created that transit disaster are now creating another transit disaster with this budget. Not only is this uh, fair hike unfair, but the cuts in services and the fair hike is a double whammy on the average working family. But why should everybody else care? The reason they should is that when you raise fares and cut services, you put more people back in cars. More people back in cars means more traffic on our already overburdened roads and our dilapidated bridges. More traffic means more air pollution. We're concerned that the Democratic leadership who've complained about these cuts and these fare hikes have to also not talk the talk but walk the walk. They need to put the money up uh, because if they don't, then they're complicit in what the governor is doing. And we're out of gimmicks and we're out of tricks. The legislature has to come up with a long-term fix, whether it's a gas tax or something else for, for, for TTF. And they have to come up with a, a pay-as-you-go system for operation and maintenance so we're not borrowing against the future to, put, uh, to fill potholes or to, uh, or to run our trains. The, ta the fare hike is going to increase the cost for our roadways because we're going to be putting more people on our roadways and kicking them off of public transportation because it's no longer going to be affordable. We've come to a point where we need to address the need for a stable, sustainable funding source for our transportation system. Transportation is an irreplaceable link in the chain that allows people to access jobs and to do the work that everyone agrees is best for them and for our society. And that's why having an affordable public transit system is vitally important. Since car ownership is so expensive, many of these workers have no choice but to depend on public transit. Any increase in fares would jeopardize their budgets that are already stretched to the max. With the deplorable condition of our roads and bridges due to lack of state TTF funding and little political will to make them safer for biking and walking, raising transit fares and cutting services backwards 1950s era transportation policy and the beginning of a downward spiral that will leave the state with a substandard mass transit system amidst roads that are near gridlock with congestion. Today's millennials, who will be tomorrow's leaders, are choosing to live and work in cities and towns that provide a variety of transportation options, such as mass transit, walking and biking. This generation is opting out of the car-centered lifestyle that saw their parents waste away hours per week trapped on congested roads as New Jersey crept towards having the nation's longest commutes. The country's most densely populated state should be embracing a mass transit-centered transportation policy that encourages other transportation options, including mass transit. Our economic future depends on it. I say that we are outraged that yet another tax is being levied on the working people of New Jersey, while the state's wealthiest residents and biggest corporations to continue to get sweetheart deals where we're picking up the tab. Affordable and high quality public transit is essential to the financial success of working people, especially lower income people who are working to striving toward upward mobility. These fair hikes and service cuts will leave some of our most vulnerable and hardest working people behind, unable to get to work, school, or job training. To put these fair cuts in perspective, a, tr a monthly train ticket from New Brunswick to a job in Newark is going to cost an extra $264 a year. Uh, that is half a week's work if you make, uh, half a week's worth pay. If you make $15 an hour, it's more than half a week's work if you make minimum wage. Uh, how can we ever expect to build a strong state economy if working people cannot afford to get to their jobs? A state budget isn't just about taxing and spending. It's a moral document that shows what we value and what we prioritize. And if we care about supporting working people and giving families opportunities to build financial health, we cannot continue to shortchange public transit of public investment. If we really cared about building a strong economy, we'd be talking about expanding access to public transit, not cutting services. This is going backwards. This is going the wrong way. Bergen County is so congested to, you know, my train line already has a, a very limited schedule to 
make the fare increase and cut that schedule just adds to our congestion and adds to you know, the worsening of everybody's lifestyle. Um, this is obviously an incredibly diverse coalition. Um, it demonstrates that whether you're rich or you're poor, or conservative or liberal, you need and use mass transit. And even if you don't use it, you benefit from it because of the environmental health and safety aspects to it. Um, you know, it's clean air. Uh, we're living in a climate crisis, you know, in a post-Sandy world. We don't need to be exacerbating. We need to be alleviating the problem. Um, and so uh, we, need we need Democrats that aren't uh, raiding clean energy and, and, and mass transit funds, that aren't cutting services, that aren't raising fair hikes. They need to stand up and do the right thing. Uh, whether the governor does the right thing or not is immaterial. The Democrats need to. They're certainly doing that on a whole bunch of issues, uh, billions of dollars worth in uh, the last couple of days, and we're continuing. They can find the money for New Jersey Transit and put it right in, in the budget if they wanted to. Uh, where there's a political will, there's a way, um, and they need to have their political will.